the country's first COVID vaccine could be authorized for emergency use any day now. If Pfizer and BioNTech get the green light in the United States, distribution is set to begin within days. But mass adoption is not a guarantee. Roughly four in 10 Americans say that they would definitely or probably not get a vaccine, according to a recent Pew Research Center poll. Employers, however, may not be willing to take no for an answer. I've been talking to lawyers across the country, and they all say that their corporate clients are reaching out to them in record numbers to ask what they should do about the vaccine. Some are considering giving cash bonuses to employees who opt into getting the vaccine, while others may penalize employees who refuse. COVID-19 and government-mandated lockdowns have taken a toll on all different sorts of companies, from manufacturers to restaurants. They view it as a selling point. That's particularly important for restaurants, bars, gyms, and salons. And so my clients in that segment of service industry are particularly looking hard at making it mandatory. While this is in part a PR tactic, it is also legally within an employer's rights to roll out this kind of requirement. Legal experts say that businesses have pretty extensive rights. Requiring a vaccine is a health and safety work rule. Some employers, such as hospitals, already require employees to get flu shots every year. So under the law, an employer can force an employee to get vaccinated, and if they don't, fire them. There are a few ways that employees could apply to be exempt from a blanket requirement. If a workforce is unionized, the collective bargaining agreement may require negotiating with the union before mandating a vaccine. Anti-discrimination laws also provide some protections. Now, other employers are taking a different route, offering incentives to workers to voluntarily get vaccinated. That could mean that if you get the vaccine, you don't have to wear the same level of PPE in the office or have your temperature taken every day. There's also talk of financial perks. Many of my clients who are struggling with this issue have said, well, while we think it's a good idea to make it mandatory, we are going to make it voluntary, but we're going to try to offer economic incentives, bonuses, uh, as well as paying for the vaccination and offering optionally if the family wants to have the vaccination to pay for that too. Dunn says his clients are looking at their balance sheets to see if they can afford to pay employees some sort of cash bonus if they get the vaccine. As for when this could happen, lawyers tell me that employers are probably a few months away from making a decision either way. An emergency use authorization is not a license. So there is a legal question as to whether you can mandate an emergency observation. Mandatory vaccination protocols, therefore, may have to wait until the FDA completes the entire approval process for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine.